Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Janky. Thanks for tuning back in. And if it's your first time here, then welcome to the channel. Today I'm pretty excited because today I take a flight out of the United States for the holidays and I'm actually going to the Philippines to visit my family. Now it's been about eight months since uh, I last saw them. This whole pandemic really messed up my travel plans this year and it's been a strange time, I know that. So I'm really excited to go over there and spend the holidays with them. So the purpose of this video is just to kind of show you guys what the process is as to leaving the country and arriving over there and what to expect. Anyway, I'll be headed to the airport pretty soon, so I'll catch you guys in a bit. So I just arrived at Los Angeles International Airport. I'm over here at the uh, Tom Bradley International Terminal. And this is kind of weird. I haven't traveled in so many months, but there's definitely a lot less people here at the airport. Now, normally this terminal here is very crowded, very busy, a lot of traffic, a lot of foot traffic, pedestrians, all kinds of travelers. But as you guys can see, there's, there's not a lot of people here. And this is quite strange. I've never seen it like this before. Um, let's see what happens inside. So this is the inside of Tom Bradley International Terminal here at LAX. Now, usually this terminal is very, very busy with all kinds of travelers. As you guys can see, this section of the terminal here is pretty much like a ghost town. But wouldn't you know it, the plane that I'm going on Philippine Airlines there's a long line just to check in so all these people are catching the flight to the Philippines it's a direct flight from Los Angeles to Manila so we're all here in line I'll be here for a little bit so I'll check back in a bit bye hey guys I just finished checking in and got through security the check-in process was pretty long not only did I have to stand in that long line that I showed you guys earlier, but there was a bunch of additional forms and websites I had to fill out. There was an app that I had to um, install and register an account with. And all that was required by the airlines and by the Philippine government. Now, what happens is once I land in Manila, I have to take a mandatory COVID-19 test. And also I have to self-quarantine myself at an approved hotel for anywhere from one to three days until I get the results of those tests. Once the test results come back as negative, then I'm free to check out and I can be on my way. Now the cost of the test and also the hotel is gonna be at my own expense, so just be prepared for that. Also, if you are not a Filipino citizen and you want to travel to the Philippines, you are required to get a visa prior to your departure. Without the visa, you are not going to be allowed to travel there. Okay, so just wanna give you a heads up on that. Now, getting on the plane, um, we are required to have a, a face mask and also a face shield, which I have here. I have, I'm not wearing it yet because uh, it really blocks out the sound and I want you guys to hear me clearly. Now, um, security was pretty fast because like I said, there are not many travelers right now. And if you look behind me, Tom Bradley is usually filled with people and it's like a ghost town over here. And it's pretty strange, it's eerie, it's weird. Um, I know it's a weird time right now and I've never seen it like this. So I'm about to head over to my boarding gate. I'm gonna try and see if I can get uh, a drink or something or maybe something to eat before I go there. And I'll, keep, I'll catch you guys soon. Okay, so we just landed in Manila and now there's some uh, health workers there collecting some forms. There's about, I don't know, about five additional forms that we had to fill out in the plane. And now they're taking temperatures of the passengers of the plane now. 
so it's kind of a confusing process but we're all gonna get through it just gotta be patient and uh, yeah that's it So we just got off the plane a few moments ago and now we're waiting in another holding area. You guys can see there's a bunch of other people here. We're waiting to get swamp tested. Um, when we get here, we have to present a QR code right over here. Um, that was, we get that email to us when we filled out one of the websites earlier at the airport at LAX. I had filled that out previously. I got my QR code in my email so now we're all just waiting to get swamp tested right over here. I think it's gonna be another long wait. So I'm being very patient. So far so good. I got good sleep on the plane, about nine hours worth. So not too bad. So let's see what happens. Catch you guys in a bit. All right, so we just finally finished with the swab process. That took about, from start to finish, about an hour. That includes waiting in line and all that stuff. Now, it costs about $80 or so, and that's at your own expense. Be ready for that. And the results should come out. They said we did 24 to 48 hours. So now I'm on my way to immigration, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, you guys, I just got through immigration, went ahead and retrieved my luggage. Pretty straightforward process. The only thing additional I had to do was wait at this one table where they had to verify the hotel that I was staying at. And after they did that, I submitted a form that I had previously filled out. So I got the green light, I'm good to go. I booked my taxi to my hotel. I'll be leaving the terminal soon. Um, I'll give you guys an update once I get to the hotel and once I get settled in. Okay guys, I'm outside the terminal now and I'm just waiting for my cab. Now there's two kinds of cabs here at the airport. There's these white ones which are the fixed uh, rate cabs. So you just tell them your destination and it's a fixed rate. There are also the metered cabs, which are these yellow ones. So they run off the meter and depending on traffic conditions and all that stuff, the fare could be lower or higher. I usually just pick the white ones, just uh, I don't wanna worry about all that stuff. And the prices are usually uh, comparable. So anyway, just a little bit of tidbit information. I'm on my way to the hotel now and I'll update you guys once I get settled in. Catch you guys in a bit. Hey guys, I just checked into my hotel and I'm all settled in now. They actually put me up in a pretty nice room. I'm up on the 16th floor, so I've got a pretty cool view of the city. Let me show you guys real quick what that looks like. There you go, real cool. Anyway, today was a pretty long travel day. I'm pretty exhausted and tired. I'm ready for a nice hot shower and a really long nap. Now the whole process of traveling here took a lot longer than what it used to be because of the whole pandemic situation. There's just um, a lot of more extra steps. There's extra paperwork that you need to fill out, extra forms. There's some um, additional expenses that are involved. But overall, it's very manageable. It's not impossible, not hard at all. Just give yourself lots of extra time and have lots of patience. The only thing I need to do now is just wait to get the results of my COVID tests. Um, those results will be emailed to me. Hopefully they're negative. And once I get those negative results, then I can go ahead and check out of the hotel. Then I can be on my way. Now, I'm really happy to be here in the Philippines. I'm excited to see my family. I haven't seen them in about nine months or so. So I'm really looking forward to seeing them. And I'm excited to spend the holidays with them and to spend time together. I hope that you guys like this video. I hope that you found it useful and that you learned something. If you like this video, then go ahead and smash that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, then you know what to do. Hit subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.